Senator Ernst and I represent 88,000 family farmers where all this starts. And over the five weeks in isolation on the family farm when the Senate wasn't in session until this week, probably 90% uh, of the phone calls I dealt with were from farmers, either their advocacy groups or the individual farmers. And uh, so whether it's those 88,000 farmers or my own son, Robin, who's been farming for 40 years, where I started six years ago, uh, you hear a lot of distress. You, uh, there is economic distress, obviously, with the low prices, but there's also emotional distress, particularly when you're a pig farmer talking about euthanizing 300-pound uh, hogs. It gets your attention right away. You know, you take calls from beef producers, pork producers, poultry people, hey, we're big in eggs in Iowa, depopulating their uh, flocks as an example. Or you talk to a soybean farmer or corn farmer, right now in our local elevator, corn's $2.70. I farmed during the 1960s when corn uh, was between 98 cents and $1.04 for a whole 10 years. And you could buy a tractor for $15,000. The price for corn farmers lower now than it was then. And, uh, and, and you, you don't know whether the 98% of the people in this country that are, are, aren't farmers understand what a farmer's going through.